the last episode, we witnessed Margaret offer Fred many changes in order to get him to come back. Let's see how she held her promise. But first, she has to tell the others that they are not fit for the position. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you all personally for giving me your time and effort, but unfortunately, I don't believe that any of you are qualified for the HR position. So, good luck and thank you for your interest, but all of you have some tweaking to do before you apply for another job. With not a worry in the world, the trio left the building and never came back. Margaret headed back to Fred's office to inform him of the good news. All right, Fred, so here's the deal. If you work for me again, you get your pay structure changed positively, I'll develop a brand new incentive plan for you, and I will set you on a career path that will put you on the track to becoming an assistant HR manager. So what do you think of that? Wow, sounds good to me. I'll start right away. As promised, Margaret kept her word to Fred, and she also became a more charismatic leader with better interpersonal skills. Fred is on his way to do great things at search marketing, and Margaret cannot be happier to have her right-hand man back. The focus of this company is to work together and to treat each other as equals. You did a great job in there today, Fred. Thank you. I owe it all to your training and leadership. I'm glad I've helped you succeed, and without you, I would not have realized my own faults. So thank you, Fred. And that, my friends, concludes our show, The Assistant, with everyone happy, including Fred and Margaret. Sophia, Dylan, and Nick, they are still looking for another job, but that does not surprise us.